Hello guys, this time I'm going to create a project using Visual Studio. So this is the start page, just click the new project. So by the way guys, I'm assumed that you already have this Visual Studio on your computer. So you can also work with C Sharp, C++, F Sharp, but this time I'm going to use Visual Basic. And then I'm going to create a name for it to Snap Corner System. Then check its location, so that will do. Just click Window Forms and then click OK. So here we are. So this is the form. This is the placeholder of all the objects you are going to use in your project. And then its properties, Resolution Explorer. And then if I'm going to uh, double click this form, this will direct you in its coding area. So this time I'm going to uh, use uh, Toolbox. So Toolbox, you can, uh, you can find Toolbox in View Menu. Just click the Toolbox in there. And then I will select all window forms to display all the objects I'm going to use possibly. So I'm going to resize it and then I will add a background for this form to its back color. Just I will select custom and then more related in green color. Okay. Then I'm going to add a label and I will change its text into snap corner system. And then it's a font. So you can choose whatever you want. Okay, I will make it bold type and then more on a uh, uh, 16 in size. Okay, and then I will drag it on the top of the form. Then again, I will add a label and then change it text into okay, into burger. So snack is referring to foods. So burger, so we have burger. Then I will put its price 24.50 centavos. So I use this 50 centavos for that I can use a data type, a numeric data type, the decimal. And then I will insert a text box for it. And then change it font. Okay, so we have now burger and its text box. So this one I'm going to copy this one and then paste it below and add another one again. And add another one again. So that's it. Okay. I will add another more. Okay, that okay, that's enough. So we have now snack corner system. Hey, <laughs> poor burger again. So the second burger, I will going to change its sex into foot long. Okay, yan paborito yan ang lahat. Foot long. Mas pina cheesy, mas pina sarap, mas pina haba. So bibigyan ko siya ng price na twenty nine point fifty centavos. So, of course, gamit din natin yung decimal data type dyan. And then, the other one.
Lagyan naman natin siya ng text na fries. So, the price of the fries is okay, 24.50 centavos. And then, the other one is halo-halo. Yan, masarap yan. Patok na patok sa taglamig sa halagang 29.75. And then, the last one, kulang tayo ng drinks. So, instead of drinks, ay palamig yan ang ating ilalagay. Para may touch ng Tagalog. Okay. So, worth 15 pesos. So, kasi wala siyang decimal, so ang gamit natin dyan later is yung end figure. Copy ko to and then ipipage ko siya dito para naman ito sa papalitan ko to dito ng total. And then, maglalagay ulit tayo ng sa pang empty label na total pero empty yan so before na i-delete natin yan ay i-auto size muna natin siya false and then border style fix 3D okay pwede na natin siyang i-resize and then pwede na rin natin yung i-delete i-delete yung kanyang text yan para empty na siya So, this time, we are going to add buttons. Okay, buttons. And I'm going to change its text to calculate. For that, when you are going to press this button, okay, lalabas lahat dito sa total kung magkano yung binili ng customer. Then, magdadagdag ulit tayo ng buttons. Yan naman ay para sa receipt. So, gawin na lang natin ng Tagalog. Resibo. <clears throat> so, doon sa resibo, pag once pinindot natin yung resibo na yan, ay lalabas naman doon sa message box kung ano yung mga binili ng customer. And then, copy ko siya, then paste again. Then, nagkaroon naman tayo ulit ng panibagong button. So, yung button naman na to ay, ang ilalagay ko naman dito ay delete, delete form o sa Tagalog na lang natin. So, linisin ang form. Halimbawa, nagbago yung customer, kaya nag-cancel ng kanyang order, ay pwede natin i-delete, linisin yung form na nakalagay doon para sa panibagong order ulit. So, meron na tayong panibagong button para sa linisin ang form. Okay, sa pag-design ng system, yung kailangan naka-align yung lahat. Nasa ayos ang bawat object. Align it accordingly. Then, pantay-pantay natin. Okay. And ayusin lang natin siya. Then, dito sa baba ay magdadagdag ako ng panibagong objects. Copy ko lang yung total na to and then paste ko siya dito. So, papalitan ko naman ito siya ng pangalan doon sa text. So, I'm going to replace it into perang binigay perang binigay okay then copy ko to and then paste ulit dito sa baba yan so papalitan ko dito ng pangalan ng sukli okay sukli
So, limbawa, pag may binigay yung customer, of course, na pera, so, pag pinindot natin yung sukli, so, lalabas dun kung magkano yung sukli. So, less yung error. Okay. Then, copy ko to and then paste correspond to perang binigay na label. Yan, dito siya. Then, copy ko ulit ito. Then, lagay natin dito sa baba. Correspond doon sa sukli na label. Yan. So, yung palitan natin yung sukli kasi dapat talaga dito ay button kasi kailangan natin tong tipindutin. So, dapat button to dito. So, palitan natin siya ng sukli. Okay, ayan. Yung perang na binigay ay papalitan natin ang background color niya kasi siya ay isang label. Kasi ang kadamihan na kasama niya dito ay buttons. Then, papalitan natin ng name, yung unang text box. Papalitan natin siya ng txt VX Burger. Tapos yung pangalawa, palitan naman natin siya ng TXT BX Putlong. And then yung pangatlo naman is TXT BX Price. So yung TXT BX na yun is yung stands for, um, refers to text box. Then yung pang-apat pang is TXT BX Halo Halo. Make sure na dapat ay walang space yan dyan ha, kasi gagamitin natin yan doon sa codes, sa pag-code. Okay, yung pang last is txt bx palamig. And then yung sa total na empty, txt total. Okay, yung sa perang binigay naman na empty, correspond doon, ay LVL, kasi label siya, LVR, perang binigay, shortcut na lang natin. And then, yung sa sukle na empty, correspond doon, sa sukle. Palitan naman natin siya ng LBL, refers to label. LBL, sukli. So, ito yung kanina. Text, TXT, dapat ito ay label, diba? LBL, total. And then, punta tayo sa buttons. Palitan natin siya ng BTN. So, BTN refers to button. Para mas hindi, nang sagunan hindi tayo ma, malito. And then, BTN Recibo. Then, BTN Sumahin or to compute. And then, the other button BTN so click or change okay yan na yun sya pwede na okay guys next part of the project is decoding wherein I'm going to create a method on how object must behave also kindly take up this time to subscribe my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon for updates salamat